when this little letter arrived at the Dream Factory, for some reason, me and Ed are just had to read it. Whoa, it's so cool. I wonder who it's from. It says, Jedward, we're Adele 12 and K14. We hope you can fulfill our dream. Our mom and dad are really cool and could do with some help after school, but no cooking skills can we boast, because at the moment, we burn toast. <laughs> so please, 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 Jedward, let our dream come true. Just you and a day in Bally Maloo. Give it up for Dolly Girls, I have some news for you. I just got word from Jedward that your dream has come true. I bet you to be in Bally Maloo tomorrow. <laughs> You're cooking with Rachel Allen tomorrow. <laughs> we became interested in cooking from my grandmother, who has all the cookbooks there in her house, and she's always making lovely souffles and cakes, and she really inspired us. They're going to come to me with a three-course menu um, that I'm going to cook with them for their parents. Hello! How are you? Oh my god, this is a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> you have your menus? We yeah. do. Okay, come on. We got straight to work. We started on the starter, which was tomato and basil soup with the uh, soda bread rolls. Have you made soda bread before? No. 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 This is excellent. We just love cooking and we've always looked in cookbooks, but we can never make the things and it always and just ends up in a mess. And it'll really be helpful to have Rachel Allen's expertise at home. The closest we thought we'd get to is reading our cookbooks, but now we're here standing next to it. It's amazing. We're off to a very good start. Your parents are going to be very happy. They're getting on really well. They're really interested and they have lots of energy and I love that. Mm. The next thing we're going to do is chocolate and mascarpone mousse. Do you think your parents would like a bit of brandy in the chocolate mousse? It's a little a small yeah, small bit. Yeah. <laughs> OMG, it's unbelievable. <laughs> next up, we made the sirloin steak with the marinade sauce and the vegetables. Well done. The Bernays sauce was quite a challenge because you had to avoid getting the egg turning into a scrambled egg, but in the end it turned out pretty good. Mm. Mm. The steaks will take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. You two should go get yourselves cleaned up. I'll clean up here. You get yourselves ready for serving. Good evening. Welcome to Valley Cookery School. We're uh, delighted to have our Kate and Adele cook for us here this evening. I'm sure it'll be lovely anyway. You know, with Rachel behind them, right. there shouldn't be as many slip-ups as there yeah. might be at home. Adele, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> we served our parents the soup and they loved it. There was nothing left in the bowl. I love tomato soup. I, I'm mad on tomatoes. Then we served them the main course. That went fairly well as well. I'm very impressed. And then there was the mousse and they absolutely loved it. It wasn't Which, just ordinary chocolate no, mousse. No, it no, wasn't. No. It was to, to die for, for chocolate yeah. mousse. It was very special cooking for our parents because we had to give something back to them for cooking for us all those years and playing up with the mess we made after. <laughs> this has been a dream come true. It's been amazing. I would give the girls 10 out of 10. And I love the fact that they really enjoy their food, respect their food, and you know, the fact they love their parents so much. So you think your parents are happy with it? Oh, they couldn't have been more pleased. They'll be expecting that every night now. <laughs> <laughs> Was it really fun cooking? Yeah, yeah really, really fun. It's it definitely with Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. What was it like cooking with We had such a good time, didn't we? They were brilliant and really good cooks. Rachel, okay, you're an awesome cook, Kay, but I don't think you're that great at waitressing. I was okay. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> no. You like, dropped stuff. Awesome? You dropped like this bread thing. Wait, did, did you catch that? <laughs> yes, and cut everything. <laughs> I didn't know that was caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll stick to the cooking. Do your mom and dad make it cook for you all the time now? Like, give us room service. You're like, mom, we're not in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like really trying to make us cook, but. I don't know, I don't think, I think they're a bit afraid to leave us alone in the kitchen. What's your favourite thing to cook, guys? Chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. It's oh. like jellylicious. It's jellylicious. <laughs> <laughs> guys, okay, we've got something very jellylicious for you, okay? Our own cheap badges! Here we go! Here we go. One for you. And one for you. Make some noise for Rachel K. Yeah! Six-year-old 
Jenny Wilson wrote to the factory and said, Suck, Jedward. I've played tennis since I was five years old. My dream is to play against Ireland's number one, Connor Ireland. We think it's great that you have such a cool, healthy hobby, and we couldn't wait to make your dream come true. Jenny, over to you, Connor. Thanks, John. Thanks, Edward. We're at the hotel now, just outside Jenny's house. She hasn't a clue what's going on, so let's go and surprise her. I've been playing tennis since I was five. I really wanted to play a game against Connor because he's the Irish number one, and I wanted to see if he could improve my game anymore. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> How are you? I opened the door, and Connor was standing there with a tennis racket. I was so surprised because I didn't know what was happening at all. All right, come on, let's go. Good. We had a knock up, and you know, I could tell straight away that she had a good technique and was well able to keep a rally going with me. Good shot. When did you start playing? There's pictures of me at like 18 months with like a racket in my hand. We were kind of a tennis playing family, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of always there, really. Almost loved me. As the Irish number one, is there any added pressure? I really enjoy the fact that I'm, you know, one of the few Irish guys out there, and playing in these tournaments around the world is kind of a privilege to be representing Ireland and, you know, trying to make us more recognised as a tennis nation. Bouncing on your toes. Excellent. But if you keep your left arm up, it'll help you reach up for the ball a little bit more and maybe make it a bit more consistent. Excellent. Have you ever thrown a tantrum on court? Um, once or twice. I hope I don't do it now today against you. We played a set against each other and, uh, you know, it was really good fun. Okay. First game of me, come on. The serve is really strong, so I just tried to hit it back as much as I could. <laughs> 30 love. Jenny played a great game at, I think it was four logs. She played some great points. It wasn't looking too good. Great shot. 30-40. That's a break point. It was a big opportunity. I had a break point against Ireland's number one. This is nervous times. I was a bit mean, and I think I might have hit an ace. Oh, come on. I think the next game then, she uh, hit, a, hit a good few winners. She's a good tennis player. Got a really eagle forehand, uh, especially the forehand cross court. Great shot. I pushed him a bit harder and I won it. Oh, great shot. I lost the game 6-1 in the end, but I, I got a game off and so I was really happy. Today's experience was really enjoyable and with the tips that Connor's given me, my tennis game has really improved. It was definitely a dream come true. Great job, Jenny. Great tennis. You're playing really well out there. Sorry, John Edwards. She was very good. Couldn't take it too easy on her. So, well done, Jenny. At least I got a game off you. Exactly. Hey, Jenny. Welcome to the Dream Factory. Woo! Jenny. How did it feel to be coached by Ireland's number one tennis player, Connor Nyland? It was really cool. He just, like, coached me and he gave me loads of tips for my serve and my backhand and stuff. But, Jay, okay, like, you know when you play tennis all the time, okay, yeah. you're really, really good, okay, like, we play tennis well. So what's your best tennis noise when you're hitting the ball, like, <laughs> What's your best tennis noise, Jenny? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Jenny, okay, what was the best part of your day? I played a set against Connor, and then he sat down, he had lunch with us, and he was really nice. So you guys were chilling the whole time? Yeah. Connor was so impressed with you that he gave you goodies. As you can see, you've got sweatpants when you're sweating playing tennis. You can go, shoo, shoo. you got a t-shirt, it says Arlen, it says to Jenny, keep playing, Connor. Connor, no, he so signed it for you. And look, he signed the hat as well. To Jenny, Connor. John, try the cap over. Here's the cap. Wait for it on. You got this as well. Isn't that cool? Not only do you have this awesome stuff, but you have something even better. Do you know what it is? Tell them better. It's an OMG Jedward bag! Yeah! Yeah! And we're giving it for Jenny! Yeah! Yeah! Guys, we had an amazing time here at the Dream Factory. You guys totally rock! Keep dreaming! Next time in the Dream Factory.
We give one dreamer a makeover, Jedward style. Hold the front page as one dreamer makes all the headlines. Our most extreme dream yet. Radical John, totally rad, Edward. And Robbie Keane shares his skills with an Irish football fanatic. <laughs>